Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Jazz Show on a Monday afternoon. It's Crosswords and Chill on a Monday afternoon. And it's new day, but not time. You know how that phrase goes. And it's new time and place. Well, it's the same time. It's just a different day. But uh, I will, will say with a degree of somewhat certainty, if that's a thing, that uh, Crosswords and Chill will be here to stay on a Monday afternoon fits a lot better with uh, with my schedule and, and is a nice way to end a Monday afternoon. Mondays tend to be my one of my busier days, my most frantic days, and so to just stop, relax, chill, then uh, that, that's a good way to end, end a Monday daytime for me. Uh, yes, it's morning for you, little cute girl. That's how time zones work. But good morning to you. Good morning to uh, Future Wolfington and anybody else out there on the other side of the puddle. Uh, good night to everybody on the uh, the other side of, of the world, the Australia, uh, East Asia side of the world. But you're probably in bed, so I don't even know why I'm talking to you, to be quite frank. Uh, it's the last day of the month. It is January 31st, 2022. It's, uh, it's the last opportunity for you to use these little creatures to win yourself a gift sub and a Jazz Show sticker or a few, if you want, uh, for the month of January. As soon as January is over, I'm gonna enter into testing mode with the, uh, with the avatars. And uh, it may be a busier, more exciting competition in February. If it all works. If it all works. I'll give you a, a, a little hint in that I cannot be hugged as an acorn anymore. Tamsin, Tamsinaki tried to hug me when she came in. And I had to remove my acorn from down here because there were four of them. So there's a hint for you. If you if you can get through the the cryptic crossword clue there uh, and work out what it is I have planned, then good on you because I really didn't give you much information. How are you all out there in in the world, in Twitch world, in the world at large? I see many of the regular faces, uh, including. Uh, an irregular face in uh, Little Cougar Lady 6, who's normally uh, not available at this time, so it's good to see you here on a on a morning. Uh, catch up with any questions and things that have been asked. I will try to remember, says MJ Harmstone, to give vague references to clues whilst I'm on audio only. That would that would be helpful. Why does it look like the Among Us characters? have done something bad when they hug. It's probably because their legs are so small. Everybody with tiny little legs looks like they're up to something at any given time. So that's that's what I'm going with. Uh, Catface from Wolfie, entitled Hype Judge. So I feel like I'm being judged right now. Thanks for that. This intro is extra chill without images. This is just silent chill music. And it's probably extra chill for you, Armstone, when you don't have the images on because you can't see me flipping you the bird. Which is extra chill, I suppose. Uh, nice puns going on. Hello, chill and cross word people. Very nice, very nice. Hello, H-Bots. What was the clue again? I missed it. There, when I signed on, having done some tinkering already, there were four... Jazz acorns. Was it four? It, might have been, it was three or four. There were multiple jazz acorns. Why could that be? Are you going to be a big squirrel trying to eat us? No. No. I saw that a person was on and had to see what it is. It is me. The J-E-Z. Uh, I just assume you're always flipping me the bird. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh... I thought it was cross 
and chill words. No, that's that's a different one. That's after dark. That's after dark. <laughs> You're cloning yourself? No, I wish. I wish that would that would make my life hella easy. I I would have so much time on my hands if I could just deploy versions of myself to do different things. That would be super useful. So if somebody has got that cloning thing down, send it my way. I would, I would be more than happy to clone myself. I'm not sure anybody else would, but that frankly is your problem. Will you do a Crosswords After Dark someday? Yes. Yes, I will. Yeah, I need to do one. I haven't done, done a Crosswords After Dark in quite some time. Um, I'm trying to think the last time I did it, actually. It must have been end of the summer. August, September, sometime around then. So yes, I will I will put that on the calendar. Crosswords after dark. Returning soon. I'll I'll be trying to do a crosswords after dark or a um crosswords croissants and chill a couple of times a month. So you'll have crosswords and chill on a Monday afternoon and then an extra crosswordy type thing. Uh, at other at other points in the month. Are you switching to Lure on board 2 or going to Streamer Bot? I have not made that decision yet. To be frank, I'm still on Lure on board 1. It, it works fine for me. I do need to have a, an overhaul of all of my stuff. So I should probably decide on one of these two things so that when I do everything again, I'm not having to redo it. I don't know how easy the switch from the on board to the on board 2 is whether i can just open up my files I assume you can it's all uh json based so it should be easy nova is going to the on board 2. Mm. i'm gonna mix it up I, I mean i'm familiar with the on board i'm not familiar with streamer bar as much as uh, i've watched people using it and there are tutorials out there and things from very reputable people i just haven't haven't delved into it yet at all. Uh, one thing I have delved into, and you will delve into now as well, is Stream Raiders. Before we chat any further, let's get this started. It is a three skull difficulty. I'm going to go and face Dino Bulbasaur thing again uh, and fight some houses and stuff. So let's get that going. Streamraiders.com slash T slash the Jazz Show. Join on in and get yourself a troop on the battlefield every five minutes we will go into victory odd odd authority hello first time chat from you welcome aboard how's life what brings you to crosswords and chill on this monday afternoon our first monday afternoon crosswords and chill where are you joining us from what part of the world do you hail I haven't done Stream Raiders in like 50 years. 50 whole years. Wow. I want crosswords. Ah, you've come to the right place then. We're just doing a little uh, a little chat, getting some Stream Raiders on the go, and then we'll launch into several crossword puzzles. I have prepared six puzzles. We may not get through them all. We may get through them all. We shall see. But there's plenty of crosswords coming on up. From Sweden, okay. I know very little about Sweden, to be honest with you, even though it comes up quite a lot when we play GeoGuessr, other than it looking like a very beautiful country. I know relatively little about it. It's good to have you here. Hello, Jez. First time chatter here too. Yes, of, co of course. Uh, is that Finn? Finn? Finite? Finite Pro... Project? Finite reject for I'll get there. But welcome in, first time chatter. Fin finito finito project. Uh, we will uh, get to know you a little bit more as well. Is there any particular um, like snack food you might be obsessed with that, that you could share with us? Something like that. Uh, by night. <laughs> Ah, uh, what uh, what you um, will have missed there, uh, authority, is that I do very well know Finite Projects. Uh, his his name is Corey. 
and I'm winding him up. But thank you for trying to help me. I much appreciate that. Mini eggs are coming back. Ooh, I don't like mini eggs. I do like twiglets though. Twiglets is a is a stellar snack choice. Um, tend tend not to uh, have them very often because they stain your hands and, and all that kind of stuff. But I do like a twiglet. Cream eggs are better. Wrong. Cream eggs are disgusting. I don't dislike mini eggs, but um, they're just a bit hard. And I don't like the, the risk to my teeth. I feel like I'm going to bite into a mini egg and that will be the last time I ever use several of my teeth. So I just I just stay away from them. Noodle says mini eggs are the best. Obviously teeth of steel. Fisher noodles. Worth the risk. I have COVID again, says Corey. Ow. You sure you don't still have COVID from last time? You can't have COVID again. Does it work like that? I thought you... I don't know. Who cares anymore, honestly? It's all nonsense. I'm over it. To be quite frank, I'm over COVID. I'm just done with it. Uh, I think I had Delta last time. You can get it a few times. Yeah, but not this quick. Corey had it like three weeks ago. He had it at the beginning of the month. I think it's more likely he just didn't recover or it's the same COVID making a resurgence. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've gotten it. I've, I I think I, I definitely have right at the beginning. No, but I haven't. I haven't no. Heart is take. I'm over COVID. Yeah. I'm just done. I'm done with it. Life goes on. Mostly. Even without being able to view the screen, I still get the stars. How did you even know there was a star there? Is it because someone said jump? Yes, I see. Will tips you off. And then you're like, oh, I must try jumping. And you succeeded. Yeah. Cool. So, I'm just going to chat very briefly about uh, my week. Because I might do a stream on Wednesday. I have plans for Wednesdays in general going forward. It all depends on whether I get time to do the setup and the cool graphic-y kind of stuff that I want to do to get going on Wednesday or whether it'll be a week on Wednesday or future Wednesdays. Um, but look out for something maybe on Wednesday. And then in what is normally crosswords and chill time, uh, you are going to have Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds instead. So I need to get that done. And that'll be a nice chill. And then on Friday, it's don't get me started. We're over at uh, Borton Towers this week. So do follow Always Be Chatting. My partner in crime for don't get me started. That's Friday at 9pm. So that's just what I've got other than this this week. How do you do crosswords if you can't see the screen? I read out the clues before we get going. And so he just tries to remember the clues and I talk it through a lot. Uh, it, it's an awkward method, but uh, he somehow manages to, to pull it off. I don't don't quite know how he did that. Uh, Jeffrey, hello. Good afternoon or good morning to you, I, I believe. Uh, what... What was your birthday like in the end? I saw I caught you for a bit of your your more than twelve hour stream for your birthday. And you kept going long beyond beyond that, and I went out and came back, and you were still on, and it was crazy. So I hope you enjoyed your time. It's nice doing uh, nice doing code names uh, with you. Code names will not be on Wednesday, but I will get some code names in again soon. Enjoyed playing code names. Uh, I met MJ. When I was a child, that he remembers me. MJ Harmstone, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, Molly Jane. If you had, Mo if you met Molly Jane when you were a child, then that might explain some things now. But let us know. It was then. It was fun. Thanks for playing with us. Of course, of course. I love playing uh, code names with with people, especially you and your lot. But. Uh, 
I got up on Saturday morning, or rather, I didn't get up on Saturday morning. I turned on my phone in bed, and there you were. So I played for a bit, and then had to get on there on my day. It was Michael Jackson. I slept over. Wonderful. So you played. You played with all the things at Michael Jackson's ranch, and you also went on a roller coaster and thing and stuff. I would. I would guess. You know. Right. I think we have ambled sufficiently. There's lots of people here, all looking for some crossword action. So we'll get straight into it. I'm just going to quickly look at the troops. Eight allies on the battlefield so far. We can do much better than that. Get your troops out for the lads. Streamraiders.com slash T slash The Jazz Show. Exclamation raid if you need the link. Here we are then with crossword number one. I'll read the clues out. If you're here for the first time, you can answer at any point and answer as many questions as you like. Just make sure that you put the clue number and letter before your answer so that I know which clue you're answering. Uh, Jeff, ignore him. He did not meet Michael, Michael Jackson. Just, just ignore him. The across is first. By name, Bors quit. Anagram, nine. Ceremonial elegance and splendour, four. Short distance attempt to reach the green, four, four. Andean bird, six. Stroke of bad luck, six. Biographical film, six. In high spirits, six. Shame, eight. Abound, four. And horse-drawn carriage with two seats and a folding hood. Nine. And the downs. Of an engine made more powerful. Six, two. Restorative, restorative drink. Easy for me to say. Six. Wriggle with embarrassment. Six. Converted stables. Four. Sleep inducing. Nine. Be missing or stolen. Two, seven. More devious, eight. Seats that can be electric or musical, six. Muscle that bends at a joint, six. And constellation, lecher, four. Let me scroll back up to the beginning. Okay. Can you give some BS clues to throw Harmstone off? I mean, I wouldn't just be throwing Harmstone off, though, is the problem with that. Maybe I do this when I'm giving a fake clue. But that requires an awful lot of knowledge and for everyone to be here when I, when I say this. Let's see. Okay, the Andean bird, Condor. Thanks. Uh, 15 across, elated. Bits. It's certainly one of the words that we can use. 13 across a biopic. Is it biopic or biopic? Because I, I interchange between the two, not really knowing. One down, revved up. I thought it might have been souped up, and Wilf says souped up as well, so we'll. We'll keep an eye on that one as we get to five across. Because eight across, eight, eight later across, eight across ending in V seems unlikely. So we'll bear that in mind. Six down, soporific. Fits with Condor, fits with Biopic. Good. Eight across pomp. Yes. Okay. So that suggests that it will be souped. Which is a British term. I think. You may not have heard of it. Twelve down. Sneaker. Or sneakier. Doesn't fit with elated. Doesn't mean it's wrong. But it doesn't fit currently. So we'll bank that. 14 down, chairs. Yeah. What 
What's the clue saying? Can be electric. Oh, yeah. Electric chair. Musical chair. I get it. Uh, <laughs> you're joining in. Squirm. Wriggle. <laughs> it's pronounced biopic. Biopic? Thanks, Wolfie. That was helpful. Uh, you can't time me out. I have an illness. I can do it. Just like I did to Jazzy's brother. She did. She well, she didn't just time out my brother. She banned my brother, thinking he was a bot. Little cute god doesn't like lurkers. If you sat around here lurking and you don't say anything, she just assumes you're a bot and bans you. She's a renegade like that. So if you're not a bot, make yourself known. Just say, Hi. Hi. 15 down, tendon. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of elated. Find another synonym. Let's come back to the 12 down. We had sneakier. Not that, you know, who wants to do it. Okay. Hi. I am not a bot. You're definitely not she noodles. We're well chatty. We love it. Right, what else have we got here? Is a converted stables as simple as a barn? Is that gonna Is that gonna be the thing? Ash can't ban me. No, she can't. I can. If I, if I were to time out a mod, it removes their moderator pri privileges as well. Yeah. Hate bots. Hmm. It's about, about time we had a, uh, a Discord name change, I think. Kinda. We've been hate bots for a very long time. Maybe it's time to be hate bots. Maybe it's time. If you're not in our Discord server, do join. Uh, it's not just mine. It is everybody in the primetime streamer network. And it's not one of those BS discords where it's just people saying, I'm going live now, thanks. We have we have deep conversations. We say hello to each other every morning. We talk about the most random stuff. Uh, we look after each other in a well-being section. It's a great place to be. Uh, four down can't be barn because there's no A in boars quit. True. There you go. Thank you for keeping me on track. Can't be barn. Right. By name. Well, we can put the U there, can't we? And it confirms squirm. I had to get a Q in there somewhere. It, it can't be barn. Because that's wrong. There's also that. Yeah, okay. I was going to change the H bots for Halloween, but I forgot and then couldn't work out how to do it. Well, everything's Halloween if you try hard enough and dress up and stuff. So do it now. There's a Google for that. 11 across a mishap. Yes, because that N shouldn't be there. That was just mistyping. We've got a trip to Harmstone's kitchen in a few weeks. We do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to work out how I'm setting up cameras in my kitchen. It's Jez's kitchen that Harmstone will be cooking in. I set up cameras in the kitchen, in the dining room area, the tasting. A by name. Is that like the, you know, like a pen name? A name you go by? I don't know what by name means. Just a convergence of two words at this point. Just looking through at 
those we've got left. In high spirits, begins with T, if tending is to be believed, which I believe it. Abound, starts with K, if sneakier is to be believed. A horse-drawn drawn carriage with two seats and a folding hood. I thought it was just called a carriage. Didn't know it had a special name. Uh, five across. Soubriquet. Is that like a nom de plume type thing? Two, three... Oh, it's going to be slightly different. So that's got to be a Q there. So. Like that, maybe? Lobriquet rather than subriquet? So we, we don't need a second U, do we? That's used all the letters. Certainly looks like a French word at this stage. Bound could be knotted if it's enough letters. It's not bound, it's a bound with an A in front of it. So it could be not, I suppose slightly tenuous, but it'll do for them. Two down, potion. Does not fit, unfortunately. No, now we've got Pombroke, and it didn't fit with Condor, which is definitely right. Either is correct, according to Google. Okay, that's an answer nailed then. That's the best part of this. Inverted stables now has a second letter of E as a result be missing or stolen is going to be go something. Go I think it's go walkies. I think it's go walkies. If something goes walkies you either lost it or someone's nicked it. If it's not it should be. That's a much better answer than whatever it is they've given. If it is right, it's finally a great clue from the Guardian. Who knows constellations? A constellation that is a synonym for lecture. Four letters. Dogs everywhere just got excited at go walkies. Yep. Yeah. Walkies. Walkies. Alina Gomez, thanks for that interjection, Corey. Did, did that re refer to anything? Or seventeen down uni or hall? Ah, yes, she is. Little cute girl has a mod. You can only jump once. Armstone, you grass. Yeah, as a mod or a VIP, you're only allowed to exclamation jump once. Because the uh, the, the cooldown on regular users prevents them from doing it more than once. So you only get to do it once every, like, ten seconds or something. Duck! Must hide from the star. Hey, I play by the rules. Everyone else has to. Setting aside why the rules are there. 30 seconds for us regulars, unless you type a different message. You could do exclamation jump, and then you could post a dot or something, and then you could do exclamation jump. That There is a, a degree of time involved in doing that. No, we had no idea until one day we noticed that Armstone was the only one spamming to try and get the... Uh, to try and get the star. Liari, good afternoon. Prompts me to have a little look at the... Uh, the leaderboard. It's the last day. 
your last opportunity to win the Acorn competition for January. Get yourself a gift sub and a Jez Show sticker. Or send you a Jez Show sticker wherever in the world you are. Shouldn't cost that much in, in the postal system. Uh, currently, Harmstone leads. 1896. Reese in second with 974. Future Wolfington with 586. Will CM84 Tallulah with 566 in fourth. And Tamsin in fifth with 560. I think there can be some major, major change in this if you slot it away today. And as a little receipt bonus for coming to this first edition of Crosswords and Chill on a Monday, I'm giving everyone who is currently here in the chat a hundred bucks. Acorn bucks. Because I'm a nice guy. So if there are, if there's anybody in that leaderboard that isn't here, they're going to lose out, aren't they? And that's what you get for not being here. You've got to be in it, in Judge's channel, that's the it, to win it. Is there gambling here? Big time. Massive gambling. You can even fight each other for your acorn bucks. So if, if you would like to take somebody's bucks, as uh, somebody just, just tried, who was that? Corey, I assume? Nope, it was Will. Will, you can challenge Harmstone to a duel. He will say no, but you can challenge other people to a duel as well. Exclamation duel, space, at whoever you want to fight, then the amount that you want to challenge them for. So if I wanted to fight H-Bots, I would put exclamation duel, space at h -bots, space 100 or whatever value I wanted and if you win you steal their points and it gives us something to, to watch a spectator sport over here Aletha has 316 acorn bucks Aletha 316 says I don't have too many points he's going for it anyway Will reject Jewel, says Harmstone. Jewel MJ, MJ Harmstone says Will. How did you only win 20? How much did you bet? Oh, because... Oh, it might have... Has it reset the, um, the max buy-in? It doesn't do all. All is not a thing. So it might have just done 10. It certainly didn't spend all your money. But it may have reset the all in the... Uh... Alright, I just need to just make sure nobody's doing anything. Keeps moving it over there. I'll check it in a minute. When we're in between games, I'll check it. Otherwise it gets in the way of the screen. But they recently had an update. We had set it so that the max bet was like 500, I think. But the default is 10, so it might have reset it. We don't need the Acorn switched on. It's fine. Your opponent does not have enough currency to do that. One. What the hell? Oh, because she'd, or she'd bet all of her money and then just won it. So there we go. What? There we go. What? Back to the crossword. Remaining clues. Short distance attempt to reach the green. Four or a chip got. That was a golf clue. In high spirits, six letters. T something E something K something. In high spirits. I have to go to Gamblers Anonymous because of this stream. Hi, my name's Corey. Hi, Corey. It has been uh, two hours since my last gamble. It's Jazz's fault, really. Uh, he's got these little acorn things, and I really, really want a sticker. So I've got to make my acorns fight each other, and I can play slots and stuff. And I still didn't win the sticker, so yeah. Fifteen across, Tweaky, 
That sounds a little too high. Yeah. If that's right, it's not a very sensitive answer. But it certainly fits. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. We've had a duel. H Sports wins money from Aletha. Aletha doesn't need it. She's not going to win. But H Sports might. <laughs> Jewel! Jewel the Jazz Show! The Jazz Show does not exist in the Acorns anymore. He's gone. I'm over here instead, next to the Acorns. Everyone's favourite Borton, H Sports. No lies detected. No lies detected. Shame. Eight. Something I. Something, something, something. A. Something N. We may get another one from Constellation. Why did you think it was Hall, Corey? What was the reason for that? Lecture. Oh. Very good. Went to a lecture in the hall. Okay, got it. Very good. Went straight over my head at first. But now I get it. So I won't put hall in there then. That's good. Lecture is like a creep, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. But are there any, like... Synonyms for a creep or a lech that are also constellations. It's a four-letter constellation. There can't be that many. Um, Argo, <laughs> Alex. Is, Ar is Argo a creep? Do any of these have law? Lag almost beat you to it. You really did. You're so close. Let's put an A in there and, and check it. Nope, doesn't start with A. It's not Argo. Any other four letter constellations? Aries, spelt wrong. A R E S. Sometimes spell it like that, don't they? I have no idea. And if there are any people. Anna, you should know this. You do horses. Amazing. Um, Horse-drawn carriage with two seats and a folding hood. Nine. Something, something, something. R. Something O. Something E. Something. Any ideas? I wasn't around in the horse carriage period. No, do you know what? I don't think any of us were, to be honest. But yet the question exists. Isn't the horsey one perambulator, a.k.a. a pram? Don't think it is, based on the letters as they sit. Unless it's spelt. I think it's where it comes from. The more... The fourth letter is... Ah, uh, something horse? Mm, again, it doesn't fit with the E. Nothing horse. <laughs> I'm more of a horse, no carriage kind of gal. Well, isn't it? You can learn. Come on. That said, if I could go around in a horse-drawn car horse carriage, you know I would. Mm. Seems pretty luxurious. As long as they've you know, modernised the carriage and it's got some suspension now. Because that's got to do bad things with your spine if you're bouncing around, being trotted around by a horse on bodgy British roads all day. Take me around like Cinderella, thanks. Yeah, yeah. My last name is horse-related. Cool. Mine isn't. Well... It kind of is. It's horses walk, but 
not exclusive to horses. They don't have the, the market cornered on walking, so... Anyway... We're going to... Uh, going to give this a break and go and do some stream raiders and hopefully come back to the uh, final answers at the end. Any idea on the restorative drink? Six letters. Something R, something C, something R. We had potion. Does not fit. A, um... I don't want to give out my name, as there are some bad actors in Harmstone. Yes. Yes. I don't blame you. Don't blame you at all. My name is very much out there, so it doesn't bother me. Can't do much with a name. Other than come and see me, and you do that anyway. So. Restorative Potion will be a tonic of some description. A bracer? Okay. Would never have got that. What's a bracer? That's a good question. We will defer to Tamsin. Would not have got that. Uh, converted stables, four letters. Something E, something S. My name is out there because I share a name with the least subtle dude alive. Again. No lies detected. Braces you for what's to come. Okay. Did you see goat, by the way? No. Is, it, is that for, for constellation? 17 down. Yeah. Oh, keep doing that. Trying to scroll the chat and I scroll the crossword. I'm trying to give you motion sickness. Sorry about that. Converted stables are... A fucking waste. Doesn't fit. Fortunately. I mean, my parents have converted stables. So they don't have a horse anymore. It was where my brother played his drums. Out of sight, out of mind. So it gives us a G in our shame. I see what she's doing. Put an at on the end. It's a different message. Still didn't let. Oh no, I don't know what's going on. The muse. Oh yes. I have heard that, especially around here in in the south. Muse is definitely right. Hold on, time's in. Don't know what you're jumping at though. Uh, Folks, there's, there's no star. You're just trying to throw Harmstone off. <laughs> okay. Last three clues. Shame, eight letters. Abound, starting with K. Not necessarily starting with K, actually. But it could, if sneakier is right than it is. Keen? A bound? Yeah, maybe keen. Let's try keen. And a, and a horse-drawn carriage with two seats and a folding hood. Like, two two seats and a folding hood is very specific. And there is obviously a very special name for this specific type of carriage. But blown if any of us know it. Honestly. We'll sit on this until someone Googles it. I mean, I might just be getting the answer if we don't get to it. But the fact that none of us even have an idea of a single name of a carriage doesn't fit, apart from Harmstone's Parambula, or whatever he said. And, uh, yeah. It's no. I just have Surrey with a fringe on top on a loop in my head. I don't know that song. Shall I ask my mother? If she, yeah, if you're at home and she's about, yeah. 
An another horsey person, I assume. All all interaction from people is uh, is welcomed. I might check all at this stage. It's the fourth last uh, fourth lifeline. Ask Hannah's mum. Yeah. You'd like to phone a friend, ask the audience, or 50-50? No, actually, I'd like the new one. Uh, I'd like to ask Hannah's mum. Okay. I'm going to check all currently so that we know if we're right. Okay, that kills a few of them. So, tendon was wrong. But tendon isn't a muscle, to be fair, so... Nah, she's just really big on carriage names. Fair enough. Okay, so that becomes team. Yeah, right. What was 12 down? More devious. Shift. Yeah. I got nothing across the pond. It probably isn't even called that over on your side of the puddle, to be fair. In high spirits was not tweaky. Risky? That fits. Muscle that bends at a joint. I don't even know any muscles beginning with R, let alone ones that go over a joint. There's a muscle that goes over a joint? I thought they all... Kind of were attached to the joints. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. A team, Tamsanaki? No, the A team. 16 across, disgrace. Nice. Nice one. Well, gives us an E in our muscle that bends at a joint. Oh, not at a joint. I'm misreading it. Muscle that bends a joint. Ugh, I do know this then. Come on, sports science. Come on. It's one, it's one that pulls the... It's the pulling one. The type that your, um, your bicep is. The type of muscle your bicep is. So that helps to pull. Rather than... Lexo! Also an excellent name for a superhero. RK Glasgow, welcome. Thank you for joining us and saving the day. Deciphering the words of the cross. Sounds like a heavy metal lyric. It does. Do you happen uh, to have any knowledge on horse-drawn carriages as well as muscles? Horse-drawn carriage with two seats and a folding hood? Cabriolet. Okay. We do know that because of cars. Well, in with in with Cabriolet as well. Beautiful. We can check all now, and hopefully we'll be right this time. Nice. That was a dodgy one to start with, but GG's everyone. GG GG's. I am doing well. Feeling very positive on this Monday. The positivity started yesterday. For no particular reason. Just got loads done. Just got loads done on a Sunday, which never happens. Okay. Let's jump back to chatting so that we may jump into Stream Raiders. How did we fare? 25 allies on the battlefield. That is plenty. Um, should we curse a house? Let's curse a house. That's, oops, that's level 10. Are they all level 10? Yeah. Let's curse a random house. Right at its entrance. And we will begin. Been lurking as I sign off my tax return. I did mine last Wednesday. Um, but then I found out today 
that they're not charging people for being late this year. So had I known that, I probably wouldn't have done it until mid-February. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Here we go, everyone. Good luck. Today's a good day to die. My accountant had to make amendments, so uh, did they discover that little stash she had hidden away? Did that have to be taxed as well? 25 allies from us. 12 enemies currently, but they are released periodically from the houses, and it increases their number. 15 now, but by the time we get there, and trash some of the houses. That will end. Another dinosaur-looking Bulbasaur thing is released from the house. Will, with his massive beast, takes down the cursed house. The curse doesn't really do anything to the houses, to be fair. Having a curse on this is a waste of time. Why does this look like an early Pokemon game? I think that's by design. This uh, month's campaign is called Glitched, and it's based on retro games, video games in, in general, so, yeah. Still waiting for a response from my applications. It, it takes a while, unfortunately. No matter where in the world you are, when you apply to a job, they, they have to dick you around a little bit before answering. It's just, it's just the way it is. Um, I don't pay taxes. I'm a member of a chain referral scheme. Right. Is that like an NFT type bullshit thing or what I thanks for the help you guys yeah Will did most of that work there well, Will and Tamsin with their beasties a pyramid scheme so yeah like NFTs and cryptocurrency exactly the same good it's basically a giant Ponzi scheme except nobody wins Will and Tamsin with the most kills and the most assists 12 and 3 each uh, Harmstone also killed some people, and everyone else was there, including me. Let's see what the reward is. Goes to Shenoodles, 25 gold. Got some gold. Got a little vampire scroll as well, I think. I think I can upgrade my vampire if I want. Let's do the lightning one. There's a centipede in it and some lightning and stuff. That's exciting. And need to fit in. I didn't actually place a troop, did I? What an idiot. That's why I didn't kill anything. I'm going to place my healer. And then I'm going to suggest that we convene in this area. Like that. And we've got 30 minutes to get going. Harmson's already got a troop in. But get your troops out for the lads. Link is in the chat. My chat's there. Not everybody's chat's there. There. In fact, it isn't most people's chat. Yeah. I'm a computer screen. It's over there, right? Is it? It's over there. I don't know. Wherever your chat is on PC, I haven't got a clue. Other way, sir. This way. No? This way. Chat there? Your chat here? To my left, there you go. Your chat is here. I knew that all along. Streamreaders.com slash T slash the judge show. Is it because you're mirrored? No, it's because I'm an idiot. And I, I'm not looking at a computer screen. Like, my chat is in my OBS on the opposite side. So I suppose that makes sense. My chat is Nya. Your chat is Nya. Makes sense. And there's the, the link again as I amble on. Streamraiders.com slash T slash the Jed Show. Get your troops out for the lads. One troop every five minutes for the 30 minutes we have until the next battle. Crossword number two is right here. A swig of my drink and read you the clues. Join in whenever you like. The Acrosses. One whose political allegiance might easily change. 8 5. Imagine 5 2. Balderdash, 5. Berkshire Village, with a 16th century vicar celebrated in legend and song, 4. Wrongdoer, 8. Double-breasted jacket for a man, 6. Tooth coating, 6. Cod catcher, 4, 4. Land in water, 4. 
freshwater carnivorous mammal, five. Stipulation, seven. Cheap melodramatic novel, five, eight. Given sustenance, three. Uh, sorry, we've moved on to the downs now. The downs are given sustenance, three. Run, seven. Docile, four. Tablecloths, etc., six. Violent, eight. North, anagram, point, five. Queen's Shade, five, four. Cake in a dish, three, two, four. Sloth, eight. Large, short haired dog breed, seven. Metal, officer, six. Shiny fabric, five. Busy drink, four. And hooting bird, three. Okie dokie. One across from Tamsin is our first floating voter. Which is an ironic term. Might be a floater. Okay, I'm on the computer now. Good, get your troops out for the lads. Eight across, dream of. Oh dear. Try that again. Dream of. Nice. One down, fed. Yeah. Between those two clues, it really wasn't difficult to put that together. Uh, tooth, enamel. Tooth coating, enamel. Enamel. Isle, land in water. Yeah. Floating voter. Six down, thorn. Yes. Docile. Um, uh, no, but it will be tame because it starts with a T from Floating Voter. Yeah, nine across gibberish. No, not enough. Uh, not enough space for that, unfortunately, Corey. It's five letters. Laziness for sloth. Where is sloth? I'll see it. Eighteen down, satin. Uh, owl, superb, hooting. Yes, the superb owl is set with the Bengals and the Rams, which should be a fantastic game. Busy drink, soda, soda. These clues are targeted at English people. Well, British people, for sure. Dream up. There's an authority instead of dream of. That could be. Tablecloths, etc. starts with N. What could that be? Did I get one? Yeah, I think you did. I think soda's right. Well done. Okay, Glasgow agrees with you. Glad to see an Ohio team in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, as a uh, uh, Chicago Bears fan, I do tend to like the Midwestern teams in general, especially if they're not in my division. So, yeah. Four down napkins. Okay, so then Dream Up is right. Lovely. Go team. I'll just napkin. Maybe. I'm in Ohio. I did gather I gathered that, but yeah. Ohio is one of the states that I have been to out in the US. Had a lovely time in Ohio. Browns will never make it, so glad for the Bengals. Yeah, well the Bengals could win their first Super Bowl, which is cool. That's how you know the simulation is set to the stupidest setting. Bengals are in the Super Bowl. I mean, they deserved it. They've played very well. In in parts. I mean, the Bears did beat them in like week four or something, but what are you going to do? 
Uh, five down, virulent. Oof, good answer. <laughs> Stay the letter I put in. Oh, really? Where did you go in Ohio? I went to the water, big water park in a place. It was ages ago. I've forgotten now. If you name some big water parks in uh, in Ohio, then that'll probably trigger my memory. Cedar Point? No. It was like a resort type, water parky type place. Kalahari. That's it. Kalahari Resorts, yes. And then we just hung out in the local area going to food places and stuff. Uh, 13 across, Blazer. Blazer? Don't think it is. But I do think Blazer is right. Maybe not laziness for sloth. Did I miss any blues? Just going up. No. Uh, seven down, royal something. Royal blue. Yeah. <laughs> You're like two hours away from there? That's cool. Yeah, I'd, I'd go again. I'd go again. I mean... Going to any part of the Midwest in the summer is pretty damn nice. The weather's always good, so... Blazer is wrong, you think so? Have you got another answer? Can always put uh, laziness back in. It's a nice water park. It was, it was nice. And there were a, a couple of um, sports bars in the surrounding area that I enjoyed going to as well don't get a good sports bar experience here in the UK so it's nice to go to a few it was only only baseball season and I didn't understand baseball at the time so I was just staring at a screen so it'd be nice to do that again and now I understand baseball I enjoy it a bit more um Balderdash begins with R. R something, O something, Y. Balderdash being a kind of rubbish, nonsense, ridiculousness kind of word. Twenty-four across, penny dreadful. Yeah. answer. Certainly was cheap and melodramatic. Metal Officer. 15 down Mastiff. Mastiff. Good. Good job we got some dog people for the dog questions. Twenty-two across proviso. Nice. Cod catcher. Isn't it going to be like fish nets or something? Cheap and melodramatic. The jokes write themselves. Yeah, that's true. You better not be alluding to any person in particular there, Harmstone. Cake in a dish. Something of something. We have suggestion that Blazer is wrong. May not that first three-letter word may not end in a B. 
Three, two, four. Something of something. Cake in a dish. Freshwater carnivorous mammal five. An otter. Are they carnivorous? I know that. Yeah, I suppose they eat fish, don't they? That makes sense. Whoever was writing this uh, this crossword was obviously on the uh, the animal section of his children's book. We've got sloths and otters and fish and cod. Bar of soap. Does it make sense? Fits perfectly, but I don't get it. So blazer was wrong. Ah, I cleared the wrong one. Bar of soap. Thirteen across. We'll clear. Laziness has been demolished by the other clues anyway, so not the end of the world. Loth eight letters. Abbreviation. What's an abbreviation? Cake of soap. Soap dish. Fishnets is wrong. I'm willing to believe that. I think fish is right. The nets part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nets was a punt just to fill the space until we had something else. Have you got an idea? What's 16 down? Abbreviation of soap. Oh. Now I understand what you're saying. <laughs> you're not saying abbreviation. You're saying, Jez, you can't fucking spell again. Is cod not drag nets? No. Because fish fits. It's the second part, the second four that doesn't fit in nets. I'm happy just pointing out once so you don't waste your time on them. No, we appreciate that. Definitely appreciate that. So when we're thinking about sloth... Oh, sorry, well, you did say that, and then I got distracted by abras and soaps and things. Five down, volatile. Nine across trash. That would ruin enamel, though. And I think enamel is right. Nine across, yeah, no. Because royal blue is right, and so is thorn, so no, I don't think so. But thanks for the highlight. So when we're thinking about sloth, ignore the N. The last couple of letters are R something Y. Seven across a criminal. Ruins napkin. And and virula. Fits everything else. Throwing some uh, fairly difficult crosswords at us today. First one took us a while. This one's plodding along as well. Metal officer is going to be copper, isn't it? As in, uh, yes, officer, the copper, please. Double breasted jacket for a man. Berkshire village with a 16th century vicar celebrated in legend and song. Is it Bard? I don't know any Berkshire villages other than Newbury and. Reading? It's Reading in Berkshire. 12 down, lethargy. 
Yes. Not to be confused with Lethar, our friend in the chat. Or down Napery. That makes more sense. Run seven letters. Beginning with O. O something E something 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 something. Yo, I gotta go, but have fun, y'all. Happy Tiger Year. Happy Tiger Year to you. Big rar. Whatever tigers do. Hope you have a good day. Operators run. Oh, yes. And not run, but to make something run. Operate. Cool. The boulder dash does not begin with R. Five letters. Something, something, O, something, Y. Be certain about those letters. Oh, that's going to be hooey. Or phony. Hmm. Depends what violent is. Phony definitely might work. Vehement, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Phony, I suspect. Wrong. Wrong. Right, 13 across, our double-breasted jacket for a man. Starts with R. R something, E something, E something. Reefer? I was think thinking that based on what's there, but... Anyone heard of a reefer jacket? Is that a thing? Fish hole? Doesn't go with copper, though. And copper can't be anything else, surely. Metal and an officer. Fish hook. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll catch a fish. Thank you, Times in. <laughs> Which just leaves us our Berkshire village. The 16th century vicar celebrated in legend and song, as everybody knows. You know, this is uh, on the tip of everybody's tongue. Everybody knows the tale of this 16th century vicar. Ray. I thought that was in County Wicklow Island. Not Berkshire. There you go. No clue about the song, though. No, yeah. Well, let's check all. Let's see if it's right. Uh, we are wrong on the fizzy drink. It is not soda. Apparently. Or did I type it wrong? Did I type it wrong? No, it's just not soda. Cola. That makes a lot more sense for a British crossword now we're good so little cuckoo i'm sorry your one answer was wrong but ggs <laughs> horses in the chat christmas squirrels out there for everyone to use still Jazz is useless. There's a horse. There are some horses. What is that? That's is that a horse? It's not a horse, is it? I can't see it. It's a whale. <laughs> Do they name? See you later, Arcade Glasgow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Congratulations on getting your tax return in. No, it's a pain in the ass. So it's always good to get it in phrasing once again have a good day let's just check out the uh the leaderboard with about 45 minutes left to go armstone clear in the lead 2018 reese in his absence is losing the opportunity to catch up 
974 hasn't changed. Will is pacing up there. A bit of careful slots might get him closer to Harmstone. 668. H Sports fourth, likewise, and Tamsin likewise on 677 and 632. It's it's close at the three to five mark. Tamsin's rising up there, 150 from those slots. Let's do crossword number three. We may take a pause and a break in between to do the stream raiders. There's seven minutes left on that. Make sure you get your troops in. Here we are then, the across is first. Loving touch, six. Fragment of pottery, five. Landlocked country of southern central Africa, six. American country, Ecomix, anagram, six. Serious falling out, four. Door through, wi through which you are forced to pass on the way out. Good answer. Good question. I mean, four, four. Spongy confection, often toasted, 11. Post, five, three. Ship's company, four. Country, 21 shillings, six. Ready and wanting to have children, six. Minuscule, five. Boil with anger, six. And the downs. Skull, seven. Nuclear energy generator, seven. Catapult, thin gloss, anagram, nine. American clay pigeon shooting, five. Sneeze sound, seven. Hanging loose, six. Easily broken, gerbil fan, anagram, nine. Senseless, seven. Exclusion of the workforce by the management, seven. Deploy sweet talk, seven. Tasks plug, six. And poem, Lamenting the Dead, five. Scroll back up, find our first answer. I think just call it there, we've all had fun. Shut up at your face. And da -da -da, a bit more slots. Eight across first up, Mexico. Nice. For our spongy confectionery, marshmallow, yes. Never liked marshmallow as a child. I appreciate it now as an adult. Two down reactor, yeah. Reactor, oops. Amzin and Will competing heavily to reach the top. 734 for Tamsin now. Will moving up as well takes fourth place. Serious falling out, I'm going to say, is a spat. Door through which you are forced to pass on the way out is a great clue, and that is the gift shop. Bat is wrong, you think? What's one down? Skull. Skull. Cranium. So spat is wrong, yes. Cranium's wrong if you spell it wrong too. Okay, so not a spat. Serious falling out. Something I, something T. More victories from the slots. The slots are definitely paying today. So even if you're out there with just a hundred bucks in your Acorn wallet, you could still 
charge to the top. Keep those slots coming. Duel each other. Use your channel points. Have a battle royal. The winner of a battle royal gets 500, but you do take the risk that one of your competitors will win it. Maybe it's worth the pun. Um, always be chatting it's like an opportunity to gamble I am in 278 acorn bucks for you three down slingshot probably didn't need the anagram for that did we why god jazz type properly will you want to cross caress yeah Loving touch. Goodness. Sweet caress. Will goes for another duel with Harmstone. He will decline. There it is. Ships mm -hmm. Company. I know that one. Four across shard. Fragment of pottery of shard. Yeah. 19 across a line. She returned on the picture for a second. Have you home, Stone? Are you home? We just walked in the door. 21 across Rudy. <laughs> The spamming of answers to the crossword is sponsored by Harmstone's Return Home. Four down skeet. They do call it skeet. Yes, skeet shooting. Five down a tissue. Eleven down. Easily broken. Gerbil fan. Ra Rajil Brangible. Oh. Thank you, Odd. Seven across Malawi. Nice. Six down, hanging loose, starting with D. Dro Droopy? Droopy. And his son, Dribble. Stream Raiders is ready. I wonder if we can uh, finish this one first. There aren't too many clues left. No, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go do Stream Raiders first, and then we'll come back to the CrossFit. Otherwise, we won't have time to get another one in. And that is important. Let's see what we've got. 36 on the battlefield. That should be enough. Can't see many of our... Oh, I can see them actually hiding away. Okay, so we'll, we'll get this group. That seems to be the biggest group. And we'll kick it off. Good luck, everyone. Today's a good day to die. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. As we head into battle, the group has split. This group at the front, consisting of Always Be Chattings and Harmstones, renegading out there to the cursed group, whereas Will is going to hang back and shoot them from afar. The rest of us head on up to the Superbugs, we're going to take care of those and then we will come straight across and assist the wayward souls that decided to do it on their own, I believe. But they're dead, so... Always be chatting is completely dead. A lot of ranged warriors for us. Don't even need to approach too much, but here come Will and Tamsin's massive beasts. Don't even know if that's Will or Tamsin doing the massive smashy smash. I think it was Will. 
giant blue hulk smashing through the competition. We are successful. Good job, everyone. Let's see who gets reward. Crazy Monkey gets 200 gold. Or 20 hundred, as I was about to say. But it's not 20 hundred. It's 2010. It's 200. Can't talk. I am the giant blue hulk. Then well done you. You were definitely Tams in Smash. Oh, sure. Will being a giant blue hulk smashing through the competition first time for everything. Hey, he MVP'd your, your team smashing through everything. So you can quit that nonsense. Bugs in the system. The final battle of the day. It will take us to the end. 30 minutes to get your troops out for the lads. Um, there aren't that many things really. So I would suggest we spawn in an area where they're... Uh, we'll go to the power-up. Is that power-up a good thing? Is it a power-up for them? Who knows, but... Let's go here, and if that fills up, we'll do this one as well. Or you can split between the two, and then we'll converge and go off. I don't know. Back to chatting. Back to the crossword, which still got stream raids in the middle of it. There we go. Uh, 17 across. Forget about the price tag. Price tag. Lovely. There's an E at the beginning of Poem Lamenting the Dead. Five letters. Sure myself, not sure. Boil with anger. I would have thought it would have been stewed, but it doesn't fit now. An elegy for the poem. Nice. H Bort's bring the big guns now. Epic tank on the battlefield. To seethe. Good answer. Good word for anger. Deploy sweet talk. Seven letters beginning with W. W something. N something. D something. E. Weedle. Uh, it doesn't work with line. Could be Weedle. Yeah, line might be wrong. What's 14 down? Exclusion of the workforce by the management. No, I'm not sure about that. I'm going to get rid of line. Because I can't think of anything better for Weedle. Oh, wait. How do I spell it right? Yeah. Lockout? Yeah. Okay. So, our ship... Ship's company... C something, E something. So, like a troop, but... Naval version. Crew. Nice and simple. Overthought it. Senseless. Starting with A. Third letter is I. There are seven letters in total. Asinine? Could be. Goes in there for now. Armstone. That's a better answer. But I don't think it's right. Teeny for minuscule? Yeah, it could be. I was trying to spell it. I suppose that is it, isn't it? Teeny. Didn't know it was a real word. Frank. So I scratch my head. 
Cask's plug is a bigot. Give us a G for our country. Oh, a guinea. Country and 21 shillings is a guinea. And then finally, our serious falling out has been lingering the whole time. Something I, something T. Rift. Okay. Looks good. Checking all. All good. Much faster than previous. GG, everyone. <laughs> horses, horses. GG, GG. Okay. Half four. Let's move swiftly into crossword number four. I'll read the clues and then I'm going to have a little look at the uh, the leaderboard, see how that's progressing with about half an hour left to win January's acorn competition. Here are the cr are crosses. Lower in status, six. Italian brandy, six. Nod once, anagram, make allowances for, seven. Twelve dozen, five. Ready, anagram, at five. Exhausted, or three. One looking after a golf course, 11. Part exchange, five hyphen two. Upper leg, five. One of the Bronte sisters, five. Oh, Wells lost it all, no. Womp womp. Uh, upper leg, I think I've said that one. Yes, I have said that one. Requisite, seven. Undergo genetic change, six. Tempestuous, six. And the downs. Period of years, six. Large ray, five. Pain killing, medicine, five. Message received and understood, five. Move up, market, seven. Property, six. Renewal of an interest, 11. Pragmatic person, seven. Request earnestly, seven. Watercourse, six. Altogether, six. Country ruled by Cleopatra, five. Deduce, five. Let's see what we have. First of all, on the leaderboard. It does look like uh, like Harmstone's to lose now at this point, unfortunately. Tamsin is still gaining. So we'll keep an eye on it, see how that goes. Okay, two down, a Manta. Nice. 19 down, Egypt, yes. Yes, indeed. 10 across a score. I did think it might be a score. Yes, 84, right? Well, 12 dozen? No. I don't know. My brain is not functioning in that way. 18 across, trade in. Twenty-two across, Emily. Emily Bronte. Twenty-five across, Stormy. Think I know all of these? Well, cool. get on it. Don't be shy. Twelve dozen is a gross. Yeah, that makes more sense because the score is twenty, isn't it? So. Definitely wasn't going to be 20. 12 dozen. It's 144. It's that gross. Okay. Now my brain is working. <laughs> no, you guys do them. Just here to watch. You can help us when we get stuck then. It's one looking after a golf course. 
No, it's not going to be a caretaker. It's none of letters. Upper leg is going to be the thigh. Twenty one down. Deduce. It's going to be infer. Better do the ones that have the letter at the beginning for some reason. I don't know if that's a general, general thing for people doing crosswords, but definitely helps me to have the first letter. A greenkeeper at the golf horse looker after that works. And fourteen down, a realist. First things first, I'm the realist. Request earnestly. Seven letters starts with E. It'll come to me. Twenty-four across. Mutate. Yep, yeah, definitely. The source of many a movie. Pain-killing medicine. Type, is it like an aspirin or something? Uh, entreat for 15 down, request earnestly. Yeah, well done. Wouldn't quite come to me. Message received and understood. Roger. Period of years. A decade? I think it is decade. Lower in status is demote. A yeah, decade is then. Three down. A pain killing medicine now beginning with T. T, 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 T. Eleven across. Ready. Telegram pet. Pet. Deary? Deary work? D E A R Y, yeah. Don't understand it, but. Yo, I don't know three down. Okay. Neither do I. At least right now I don't. Nine across, condone. Nod once, make allowances, condone. Seems to be getting a good number of letters for it, though. Move up, market, no. Property. Possess? I think so. Italian brandy. See, I'm not fussy, I'll just... One across is demean, making three down anodyne. Okay, that works. Demean. And no. Lovely. Four across, grappa. Never heard that. Not particularly discerning where it comes to brandy. Any brandy will do for me. Exhausted. Worn out. Doom, 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 doom. 
scrap it is particularly strong. Cool. Bring it on. Uh, that's going to be promote, isn't it? Move up or market from boat. And then assets for that one. Property or assets. Lovely. Renewal of an interest. When you get back into something, I'm assuming that refers to. Go back to a hobby. Not immediately obvious to me. There's 16 down. A watercourse a stream, yeah. All together now. It could be like total. Holy, yeah. Thank you, Odd. Eight down, something Kindle. Yes. Re, no. Yes. That and this are our last requisite seven, starting with L. L something E something F something L. And they seem like they shouldn't be quite as tough as they are. And yet. Maybe Kindle is wrong. It, it seems like it fits the context. Needful for requisite. Thought I'd cheat and use the checker. Yes, it is needful. So this is going to be wrong. As you suggested. It's a tough one, isn't it? Unless it's a, you know, rather than being your hobby or your interest. 14 down has an error. Unless it isn't to do with hobbies and a renewal in that way. Maybe it's like a, a banking or finance type thing. I've never known of having to renew your interest. Anybody heard of that? Reawakening. There we go. Reawakening. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's check all. Cross the fingers. Change the letter by accident. Nice. GG's everyone. Misspelling aside. <laughs> that was another slog. There have been some particularly sloggy crosswords today. We've done four so far. I think five will be our last one. We've got 11 minutes to complete it. Okay, so not quite a speed round, but uh, let's not piss about round for lack of a better term. Which means you also have about 10 minutes of gambling left. 
want me to go fast? You can go fast if you want. Give me more time for a raid. Should we, should we have a have a speed round? Speed round to finish. Let's see how we do. Okay. Here we go. Drink alone in a pub. Four, two, three, three. Distinguish oneself. Five. Naval officer. Seven. Haircut. Four. Iconic theoretical physicist. Died 1955. Eight. Plump. Six. To do with mushrooms. Say. Six. Reticent. Eight. Cereal crop. Four. Close of day. Seven. With everything counted. Two, three. Immediately. Five, three, four. Proof of payment made, seven. Toe, four. Unruffled, six. Unsophisticated, posh menu, anagram, eight. Carried, five. In an unceasingly intense way, twelve. Depart hastily, four, one, seven. Pronto, two, one, five. Author of Wind in the Willows, seven. Source, six. Largest Greek island, five and sediment deposited by a river. Four. Eh, let's not worry about that. I think you're fine, Harmstone. I think you've won it. Two down, a receipt. Uh, why didn't you jump? I don't know. Uh, two across, all in. Two across? There is no two across. I mean, 23 across. Ignore that. Okay. 10 across, Admiral. Wind in the Willows is Graham. Graham. An extra E. 11 across, Trim. Yep. 1 across, pop, prop up the bar. Cool. And three down. Cool. Okay, so this is gonna be Einstein, right? He died in like 55-ish. Pretty sure he died in the 50s. Did he? Or did he? I don't know. 14 across rotund. Which is a very slightly politically correct way of saying fat. Cereal prop is going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be corn. Corn. Oats. Uh, six down. Born. Late. Rice for cereal. Uh, we had an A in the middle because of Graham. Assume you're back on the audio only there, Harmstone. Seven down relentlessly. Yeah. Fifteen across fungal. Yeah. I'm um, audio only because walking. Ah, you've gone out for your uh, no longer mandated walk. 23 across, in all. Yeah. Cool. Five down, homespun. Nice. 21 down, slit. Or silt, rather. Can't read. I have a weird problem when L's and I's are next to each other. They just don't, don't register with my brain properly. 19 down, Crete. Four down, Placid. Doing well. Six minutes left. Close the day. Immediately. Nine across. Distinguish oneself to excel. Yeah. 13 down in a hurry. Ironic. 
depart hastily. <laughs> Will's going for another duel. He's going for it. Not even for seven. Not even for seven. Such a minuscule amount. He won't fight it. Not a fighter, that hamster. <laughs> okay, our remaining clues. Reticent, eight. Something, something, C. Something, H. Something, something, something. Close of day, seven. Something, something, E. Something, R. Something, something. Immediately, five, three, four. First word, something, something, E. Something, Y. No letters in the second word. The last word, the four letter word, T. Something, E. Something. Part hastily, four, one, seven. First word, something E, something T. Don't know what the single letter is in the middle. The seven letter word starts with R, and that's what we've got. And then source, six letters, S-O-U-R-C-E, source, six letters, no letters so far. We've smashed the easier ones. Source origin, that will fit. It will do for the time being. Suggest maybe that the the one the word in the middle of the five three four for immediately is and and of origin has gone right down the middle of that. Ready and something immediately ready and. Waiting, yeah. It's a four letter word though. T something, E something. So. And then. It could be something and then. A, B, C, and I have to 8D depart hastily. Well, at least answer it first. What do you have to do? That's 417. But thanks for coming. See you soon. Hope you're having a lovely day. What are they doing though? 417. They're off to 446. McDo, McDo. Oh, McDo. That's 446. It would totally be something they did. Two minutes, folks. Dear Evan Hansen. Ah. That does not fit in the crossword. Anywhere. But enjoy. Beat a retreat. Depart hastily. Beat a retreat. Okay. If you say so. It fits. Gives us a T at the beginning of immediately. 534. Four. 22 across evening. Yeah, okay. That's it. So what's been going on with... So hurry isn't right. In a... In a what? In a... No, it doesn't fit. I was going to say in a flash. 
What does reticent mean again? We had this the other day. Isn't it like reluctance? It's reticent or reluctance. What am I misremembering? Taciturn. Unwilling, yeah. Taciturn. That's Takuturn. There and then. That doesn't make sense, but it definitely fits. Thank you, Odd. And our last one is Pronto. We did think was in a hurry. No, it's in a, t in a trice. And you've got that in at the buzzer. It has to be said. Time's in. That was a simultaneous message with the announcement that the Stream Raiders battle was ready to go. It was like a count countdown and a buzzer and you were on it absolute perfect timing as long as we check all and they're all correct otherwise we failed but it is all right major ggs another speed run is complete i wonder if one day we should do like a speed run type thing not on crosswords and chill because it's not necessarily chill but like, speed, see how many crosswords we can get through in an hour. Like, no distractions, no, no rambling, just getting on with the crosswords and seeing how many we can do in an hour. Crosswords and panic, yeah. Crosswords and get the fuck on with it. Yeah. What do you think? It's an idea. Crosswords and urgency, I like that. <laughs> I like that. It's a good idea. Okay. We will move on to our stream raiders. And I will begin the process of looking for a raid. We're raidering and raiding. Armstone points out that uh, he is still leading. But that the stream is not over. We'll do the stream raiders first. So somebody might... Like if Tamsin goes all in now and gets the jackpot... Maybe she overtakes you in the final seconds. I'm just saying. Let's see what happens. Gonna turn the avatars back on. Make them visible again. They're not in the right place for what we want, really, but. Put them down there. <laughs> Look how close she is. Look at this. Look at this. It's not over till it's over. Let's hit the curse. The curse is on. Good luck, everyone. Tamsin, you know what to do. There are mere seconds left. You were in at the buzzer on the on the speed run of the crossword. You could come in at the buzzer here. Let's begin. Good luck, everyone. This is amazing. Okay, 16 enemies to our 35 allies. There are lots of very tiny people who are really charging in on the big things and are just going to die immediately. Like, the tactic is not. It's not great. Just, you got to stay in the pack. I'm a shit in your toad in the hole. There will be no hole if you shit in it. It'll just be toad. Toad in the mound. Looking good so far. Only down to 23 enemies for us. Uh, allies for us. And uh, enemies down to three, including this very funky looking uh, Null Slug. A bit too cute to be an enemy, really. But we're going to kill him anyway. And then we've got to. Then we've got to come down to uh, to get this power up, I guess. Save you some posters, Jez. You can give me a sticker when I'm down. Very, uh, very magnanimous of you there, Harmstein. Uh, good evening, ABG. You join us right at the end. We're just about to head off on a little raid. Uh, and I think we're going to keep it simple today, actually. Let's just do rewards. Tamsin and Will, which I think is perfect because they 
have been, without a doubt, the MVPs uh, of Stream Raiders today, with their gigantic people smashing everything. So that is good news. Uh, no, I just got home. Gotta, gotta quit that work earlier, man. Can't be working all the time. All work and no play makes ABG miss crosswords and chill. That's the saying, and you know it is. We're going to uh, head over and see a Nova Charter, keep it nice and simple, and support our friends. Make sure you say where you came from, say hello. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to quickly remind you what is going on this week. Uh, first of all, next stream for me is tomorrow over on the sports-based channels, Squirrel Sports on Twitch and the Jazz Show on Facebook and YouTube. It's the main event podcast presents the Royal Rumble. We're talking about the Royal Rumble, and I will also be discussing my appearance at BCW Super Scuffle on Saturday night, so stay, make sure you tune in for that. And uh, on the rest of my regular schedule, probably, possibly a stream on Wednesday, uh, but definitely one on Thursday, Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds, and don't get me started on Friday evening over on Always Be Chatting's channel. Thanks for joining for Crosswords made some new friends hope you have all enjoyed if you have lurked about and you haven't hit that follow button make sure you do so so you know when we are live and i'll see you soon bye everyone <laughs>